we have Homelander, leader of the Seven, and Omni-Man, a warrior from Voltrum, going head-to-head -head in a death battle. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I'm really excited for this animation. From the looks of it, it should be an easy win for Omni-Man, but I don't know, it, I feel like it could go either way. So let's just hop into it. Howdy, neighbor. Coco, it's warm. You know, Nolan, Homelander is more than just a superhero. It might be cynical to say this, but he's a, a brand. And it's very important to me that that brand mean something. And if I'm playing second fiddle to some goddamn alien, what's really the point, right? What do you think, Debbie? I mean, it's not like Omni-Man cared about her anyway. Get the fuck out of my country. I love how Omni-Man is just so quiet. I'm going to feed you your own heart. He's like, why is this child talking to me? <laughs> Shit! That was a great line! <laughs> country? Seriously, I'm not here for your country. I think the biggest thing about Homelander is his ego. Omni-Man just loves shoving people in front of public transportation. Never been hit by someone your own size before? You have to turn with the punch to reduce you. <laughs> Better. Omni-Man has such dead energy. the matter? Are you going to cry? Doctor, I'm done with you! I'm gonna flash fry that little shit son of yours! This worthless neighborhood! And every goddamn person you know! Jeez. Remember what I promised you. Oh no. <laughs> Jeez. Merry Christmas. Omni-Man was really holding back. Okay, I want to start off by saying that the animation for this fight was top tier. The voice acting, visuals, the violence and gore, it's all like what I would have expected from a fight between these two. And if you guys agree with me, then please hit that like button. It really feels like Omni-Man wasn't even trying in this fight. It's like he purposely wanted to make Homelander believe that he actually stood a chance against Omni-Man. I mean, if they fought for real, then the fight would be over before it even started. And I don't even think I'd call it a fight, because a fight implies that both sides stand a chance of winning, but like, this is very one-sided, in my opinion. Probably not even in my opinion, but like, as a fact. Not gonna lie, it was rather satisfying seeing Homelander get absolutely destroyed by Omni-Man. I know that both of them are just complete assholes, but I guess it's just a testament to how well Anthony Starr portrays the character of Homelander. You stay the fuck back or I'll laser you, goddammit! I'll laser every one of you! Thinking about it now, I don't even know why I thought this would be a close fight. I mean, Omni-Man has been fighting for over a thousand years, and Homelander has like zero combat experience. And I think they do a good job of showcasing this in the animation. Never been hit by someone your own size before? You have to turn with the punch to reduce Omni-Man is basically giving fighting lessons to Homelander. 
I mean, it legit feels straight out of an Invincible episode. Definitely check out the Death Battle YouTube channel. They make the most incredible death battles that I've ever seen. So those are my thoughts on the death battle between Omni-Man and Homelander. If there's anything else that I should have spoken about that I didn't speak about, then please leave that in the comments. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.